From the Athens Tech Studios, this is the Athens News Podcast. Local news you can use about Athens and Clark County, all in seven minutes. And now, here are your top stories. Today is Saturday, October 21st, and here are the top stories Athens is talking about, presented by Drake Realties. Former University of Georgia football player Akul Nasir Crumpton is on trial in U.S. District Court in Athens for his alleged involvement in the shooting death of a racetrack station clerk in Oconee County in March 2021. Faces charges of attempted robbery with a firearm and violating federal firearms purchase laws. Crumpton had initially been indicted for murder in federal court, but the murder charge will now be tried in Superior Court in Oconee County. Trial centers on the attempted robbery at the gas station where the night clerk, Elijah Wood, was killed. The jury has viewed video evidence, including the moment of the shooting, and the trial continues with witness testimony. This from the Athens Banner Herald. The University of Georgia has been awarded the Higher Education Excellence in Diversity Award by Insight into Diversity for the 10th consecutive year. This national award recognizes institutions' further outstanding commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. UGA was one of 109 institutions to receive the award this year. Recipients are chosen based on their efforts in areas such as campus initiatives, programs, outreach, student recruitment, retention, faculty and staff hiring practices, and their impact on diversity and inclusion. UGA's president, Jerry W. Moorhead, expressed the university's commitment to creating a welcoming and inclusive environment on campus. The award reflects UGA's consistent dedication to diversity. The application process also helped institutions assess and improve their diversity efforts. UGA has introduced various initiatives in the past year, further strengthening its commitment to diversity and inclusion. This from the red and black. A man was found dead Sunday afternoon in a river in the area of North Avenue and Willow Street, athens Clark County, police said Tuesday. Police said the man's body was retrieved around 2.15 p.m. He was identified by police as James C.A., 62. No foul play is suspected in his death, but police did not say how he died. Police asked anyone with information in the case to call Detective Hovey Lister, 762-400-7333. This on the patch. It pays to know your doctor. It pays to know your lawyer. And now more than ever, it pays to know your local real estate professional. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Drake with Drake Realty, and we have seven offices in the metro Atlanta area, including two right here in Cobb County and one at Lake Oconee. I'm the proud leader of over 700 agents here in Georgia, and we pride ourselves in professional service, whether you are the buyer or the seller. Drake Realty makes the home buying process seamless from contract to close. Our agents are a little different. They're not pushing for the quick sale and close. They are pushing for the best price and terms for their client. In other words, Drake Realty fights for you. Now's the time to buy that dream home, vacation home, or new home your family deserves. A lot of real estate agents talk big. Let my team at Drake Realty prove they will fight for you. I'm Jeffrey Drake, and I'd be honored to have my team serve you. Visit us online at drakerealty.com. And remember, it's not how quick you sell or buy, it's what the deal provides for your future. Achieve more with Athens Tech. At Athens Technical College, their programs can connect you with in-demand and high-paying careers. I graduated from Athens Tech in May and started my job two weeks later. I had a job before I left, thanks to my professor, and just focusing on growing a career. As far as Athens Tech, I think I've been a member of the advisory panel for 10 years now, and uh, it's been been an awesome experience. I'm currently going to Athens Tech. I started out as an accounting major. I've finished all my accounting classes and then switched over to the culinary and baking program. My name is Alex Lang. I'm an electromechanical engineering student. This is my second year at Athens Tech and I graduate in December. The long-term goal is to work for the railroad. Uh, whether that be Norfolk Southern or CSX. Achieve more with Athens Tech. Find out more at athenstech.edu. And here's some social media stories from the Athens Clark County Facebook page. Betsy A. Bishop posted, Where are good places to look for buying local art? We need some wall art like paintings or something like that. Some of the top comments were from Elizabeth Walker from Athens suggested, Go to different fall festivals. Lots of local artisans. And Juanita Hill Broom from Athens said, Community, 260 North Jackson Street, Bear Hug Honey, 193 East Clayton Street, Mother Load, 1005 Baxter Street. Finally, Charles Nicolosi from Athens said, 
Fall and holiday markets are beginning to firm up. Plenty of opportunities coming soon. The Western Circuit District Attorney's Office is facing additional complaints from crime victims who allege violations of their rights under the state laws during the prosecution of defendants. These recent complaints come from attorney Kevin Epps, who represented individuals involved in a hit-and-run accident in Oconee County and fatal bicycle accident in Athens. In both cases, the defendants were initially charged with drunk driving but had the charges dismissed. The complaints are filed under Marcy's Law, which was previously violated in a rape and child molestation case by Western Circuit District Attorney Deborah Gonzalez. The victims contend they were not properly informed about the case's progress through the judicial system. A hearing is sought for both cases, with no set date in the Superior Court yet. Epps expressed concern over Gonzalez's handling of victims' rights and said her actions were unacceptable. This from the Athens Banner Herald. A study from the University of Georgia reveals that depression and anxiety are on the rise among college students, and this issue may be exasperated for students who are not of the same race as the majority of their peers. At predominantly white universities, non-white students reported significantly higher rates of depression, with more than half experiencing mild depression and 17% dealing with moderate to severe depression. At historically black colleges, non-black students also reported higher rates of anxiety and depression. The study highlights the importance of creating inclusive and supportive environments for all students, acknowledging that different backgrounds require tailored support. The COVID-19 pandemic has further impacted students' mental health as social interactions and group activities were disrupted. This from WSB-TV. Brock Bowers, the University of Georgia star tight end, underwent tightrope surgery for a high ankle sprain he suffered in a recent game against Vanderbilt. The surgery typically has a recovery time of four to six weeks, potentially aligning with the start of the postseason. Bowers leads Georgia in receiving with 567 yards and four touchdowns this season. The Bulldogs will now rely on other players such as Oscar Delp, Lawson Lucky, Pierce Sperlin, and Lad McConkie to fill the void left by Bowers during his absence. Georgia has a bye week to adjust its offense before facing Florida. Bowers is reported to be in good spirits post-surgery and displayed strong commitment to his recovery. The Walton County Sheriff's Office is mourning the loss of one of its officers. Detention Officer David D.J. Carter reportedly was killed Tuesday night in a crash on Monroe, Jersey Road while he was driving to work a second shift. Georgia State Patrol responded to the crash around 6.12 p.m. Troopers said a Chevy Tahoe driver was heading west on Monroe, Jersey Road when traffic stopped in front of the SUV. Troopers said the Tahoe driver tried to avoid a rear-end crash and went into the east lane of Monroe, Jersey Road. The SUV struck Carter's car head-on, and the detention officer died at the scene. The Tahoe driver had serious injuries. In a post on Facebook, the sheriff's office said that Carter was committed to his job and was, in fact, headed to work an extra shift. This from the Classic City News. Thanks for listening to the Athens News Podcast. Make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. All rights reserved. This podcast aggregate content from other sources for informational purposes and is in no way trying to infringe on the copyrights or businesses of any other entities. All content posted up on the site is used under the Fair Use Copyright Law 107. All audio, media, and articles are copyrighted to the original owners. All audio on this podcast are embedded from YouTube.com and are owned by their respective copyright owners. No audio information are copyrighted or stored on our servers. The court ruled that linking or embedding copyrighted videos is not copyright infringement, even if the source video was uploaded without permission. However, we will gladly gladly remove any audio clip upon valid request from respective copyright owners. Any owners also have the option to disable embedding his YouTube videos on other websites. News and press articles are owned by the respective copyright owners. Where possible, the appropriate accreditation or source of the article is given on the same page. The audio video files on this site are for listening purposes only. Downloading of these files to one's computer is strictly prohibited. They are owned by the respective copyright owners. If it is in the organization's belief that the usage or specific content used on our site containing copyrighted knowledge conflicts with authorized use and or does not comply with fair use as described in the context, contact us through our contact page and we will remove the offending content immediately. Thanks for listening to the Athens News Podcast.